Hello guys, this is Manish Kumar, working as a, an architect. I'm having 10 plus years of experience all on Microsoft stack. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, Azure functions with uh, timer trigger. In uh, my previous video, I had spoken about uh, Azure functions block trigger. Now we will talk about timer triggers. So basically, timer trigger is uh, timer trigger Azure functions is, are the function where uh, we may schedule this uh, Azure functions to run on a specific time and uh, run a uh, piece of code on every interval. Um, suppose I want to execute my code after after every uh, five minutes. So to that for those purposes we can use as your functions timer trigger so that, uh, we want to run uh, and uh, we want to send out an email notification to a to every every customer uh, in a day once so we can write uh, your functions which which could run once in a day and will pick the data from uh, from our database and we send out the uh, emails those things we can do it uh, with Azure functions. Uh, there is a timer timeout uh, timing also there for Azure functions where uh, suppose uh, uh, our application takes uh, 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 10 minutes to finish a job, uh, then what will happen? So if the default timing is suppose five minutes, then after five minutes, what will happen? Will it keep on running or it will just uh, break and uh, well, again start all over again? So it all depends on the uh, uh, price that we are paying for this uh, Azure functions. Like if we have the chosen consumption plan, so default timing will be five minutes, uh, premium, then 30 minutes, then app service plan, then she's also 30 minutes. Uh, we, this is the default timing, but we can increase it to 10 minutes, 60 minutes, and of course, no limit respectively. Uh, if we just have to say minus one in host or JSON, function timeout we have to declare. Uh, it is, uh, of course, this is not recommended to say that uh, you, your functions will have a no timeout limit. Of course, this is uh, not recommended. So timer trigger and uh, to describe uh, when to run or basically we could say that the interval, how to declare the interval, whether we should, we need to say 5 a.m. every day, how will we say it? So uh, Microsoft has implemented this uh, in cron tab, cron expression, you can easily find out in the email what is the cron expression and on top of it, n cron tab expressions Microsoft is uh, using it. It is based, it is uh, just includes additional sixth field at the beginning to use time precision. Only that the difference, uh, otherwise uh, you can find it on uh, find it on the Google and you will also find some application in online that uh, how it may, how if you have to dis, uh, define some specific time, then you can create a uh, online and uh, define it with your uh, application. So without uh, further ado, I'll just uh, jump on the Visual Studio, create the demo, Azure Functions. So before uh, creating the, the, the functions, I thought of creating a, a weather app where uh, on every day before going for office uh, on at 8 a.m., uh, my Azure function will run and it will let me know, know how is the weather today, whether it is a sunny day, it is a rainy day, how is the temperature, minimum maximum temperature, whether I need to carry an umbrella or it is a good day to go out today. So uh, Azure function will run 18 every day and it will get the weather information. It may, may be pushing that message into blog storage or a service bus and there will be another IoT device there, where it will, where that will pick up that information and will uh, show me some alarm and display me that uh, message on some IoT device. So I will not be going to that uh, IoT device things right now. We'll uh, just implement the other functions timer trigger and we'll see the result on uh, logs. 
without further ado, we'll just try and click on next. I'll say my timer trigger. Okay, I'll say create. This is the timer trigger. So this is the default schedule. Just create each or maybe five seconds that will run. I'll just open. Oh, the function is already there. I just rename it. A. I'll also change it to 10 seconds. Okay, now I'll just write a service. So service is something like, uh, uh, we'll have, how will we get to know about uh, whether so we'll have to write uh, 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 we'll have to use consumes uh, someone's survey API, one service which could uh, give me the weather information. Here I am using using an API. I've already pre-written this using an API of uh, QWeather. Just hard coding the API right now. I'm calling it and getting the JSON and just passing the JSON and get the proper information we need. Yeah. Okay. Here. Here we just need to call this. Uh, Yes. 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 Wait, the build error. A namespace cannot directly contain members such as fields or methods. Okay. Create space. Still with this. Uh, just the class. Super. Okay. The five. This is the method with the race and the trigger. Okay, daytime is mostly cloudy, nighttime is intermittent clouds with temperature varies from 55 to 81 degrees. Right. Just kill it. It just jump to the function app. Just check. Create function app. It's just a turn of flow. So it's do function app. Okay, I'll say my door. Okay. You see, this is dot net. One, you can set your viewers that it's okay. Review of create. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now it's create. She's creating function app for portal. Okay. Deployment is in progress. Okay. So since we are using free service, free service, it has a limit of calling an API every day. 
I believe this is 28 or 50 times a day. So we'll, so we'll directly quickly close it uh, once we deploy. Perfect. Just uh, publish it. Okay, publish. Azure. Next. The function of Windows. Next. Publish. Publish target. Creates with publishing. We start it. Publish succeeded. Let's come Publish. Now, Yeah, daytime mostly cloudy. Right time is yeah, intermittent clouds with the temperature rise from 65 to 80. See, keep on the uh, Just to quickly jump on it. Uh, as I said, this is specific in, I mean, specific time. See, I can call this uh, API. So this is a free service. And here, now this is printing on the logs. We can still push this message, uh, other information that we are receiving, we can easily push this message as well in the service bus or blob storage. And from there, we can have a IoT device that will pick this message and show, maybe give us an alarm on 18 every day in the morning and display the information about the weather sunny day. And we can also have a, some custom message printed on the IoT device as well. So this is it. This is the timer trigger as functions. Thank you.